Okay, now what I'm going to do is attempt to demonstrate adding a node 4 to our existing 3 node rack. All of these nodes are running in virtual machine VMware and uh, we are using OS 10 10.5.8 as our host platform. Again, just to illustrate, okay, we are in VMware, no problem. And things have actually changed a bit. Oops, <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Things have changed a bit since 11G R1. We still have the add node script the way that we've always had, but now I believe the only valid method of running this is with the silent argument. So cluster new nodes equals XA4 and cluster new virtual host names equals the XA4 bit. And now if we were using GNS we would not have to provide this second argument. And that should be it. And this will take care of our grid infrastructure components. We will clone the home from uh, from this existing node, VXA1, to VXA4. Prior to doing this, it is a good idea to do a cluster verify, but I thought I'd save you the time in this particular video because uh, I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. Okay, well, I decided to go home yesterday, so um, continuing on, this is where the add node script finished. Okay, so I'll go back up to here. This is where we started that uh, script, and they're all available, great. And you can see basically we're just doing an install. So we, and the install is really fast actually, all we did was we cloned the home over, create a new inventory, and now we need to do these two things on node 4. Okay. So let's just pop open a terminal and we'll do that. And actually I have to do this as root. First time I've connected to this machine. Alright. Um, so I'm gonna kick this guy off. That's the inventory. Okay, not very exciting. And then root.sh. and this is where the actual action happens. So we're going to be adding the high availability services to init tab uh, so that CRS starts up the next time node 4 bounces. And what else will we be doing? We'll also um, obviously set some permissions but uh, for the most part the install is going to be very fast. It should take as long as it took for the root scripts to run on the second and third nodes when we first built this three node rack. So to be more correct, it's actually not a rack that we're building right now. We are merely extending grid infrastructure. This is the terminology we would use, uh, which includes clusterware, ASM in this case, and uh, I believe also a listener for ASM, and a few other miscellaneous pieces like GSD and ONS. Okay. So, you can see there, it's uh, going, um, and there are the high availability services, as I said. We start them up, we throw them into init tab, so that the next time we bounce node 4, everything's good, and, uh, yeah, I will now cut away and come back when it's done. Okay, so we have just added clusterware to node 4 and now it's time to add database software to node 4 and we're gonna do this by cloning an existing home from one of the existing three nodes uh, I have picked node 1 because well it just makes sense and I'm already SSH'd into it so, so there we are we go to the database home go into the OUI directory go into bin and just like previous versions of Rack, we have an add node 
script.sh and if we take a look at the script itself we can see that it's been extended just a little bit okay, but it's pretty much the same as uh, it always has been in the past now again <clears throat> it appears that silent install is the only approach now that is supported um, it doesn't look like there's an interactive install anymore so that's fine uh, new nodes now again this syntax to me is fairly new uh, perhaps some of you have seen this before but I haven't so there it is and kick it in okay so now we have extended the database software over to node 4 we have a home over there and everything looks good so we just have to run the root script over there now so xa4 and of course we don't need to necessarily overwrite the the or env and stuff and we're good so now we want to extend the database so that there's an instance on node 4 so Yay. And that just that just sets my home for me, so that uh, so that I don't have to set my path by hand, save myself some time. Okay, so we're dealing with a rack. We're going to go to instance management, not create a database. We don't want to create a new database. We just want to add an instance of a database. You'll notice here as well we could delete an instance. Now this process hasn't changed that much since 10. In fact, it hasn't changed at all. So uh, we provide credentials. Oops, what's username is sys. Specify the database that we wish to extend. Okay, there's a summary of what's happening. And we can give this instance a name. Okay, so dba4 for database A instance number 4 on node 4 sounds like a good choice. Now previous versions of DBCA when, when we went to instance management we could actually carve off an instance on an existing node which was kinda dumb. Now <laughs> we're kinda protected from that. And that's it. So you can see here we have undo table space being added for us. It will be created online. That's the size. You specify uh, the extension on it and uh, we can see two more redo log groups being added of a new thread for the purposes of this new instance. So there's a table space, you can configure it, do whatever you want, you can even make a big file, which is whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's go finish on that. And here's a summary of what we're about to do. Adding an instance called dba4 on node vxa4 for database DBA, database A. Okay, so we hit OK. Again, as I've said in a previous video, do not get anxious and click this finish after you've clicked OK. Okay, so it looks like uh, DBCA is done and we now have a fourth instance in our rack database. So we should finish up on this. I said yes I want another operation <laughs> I don't okay so my DBCA is done DBA now let's just take a look looks pretty good And we're done. Thank you for watching.